Welcome to our YouTube portion of the show, youtube.com backslash front stretch. Our guest this week is motorsports reporter extraordinaire Alan Gavana at Alan Gavana on Twitter. And my question is simple. We have uh, Mission Impossible out. There are rumors of Days of Thunder 2 coming out. Obviously, Tom Cruise, the star of that, of both movies. Uh, who is the actor that has the greatest performance in a racing movie? Alan, the answer, the floor is yours. You get the first, I guess, pick in this, but uh, only picking one. A great question because there's so many ways to answer different movies to go. I'm going with Days of Thunder, but not Tom Cruise. I'm going with the crew chief, Harry Robert Duvall. Uh, he just had he had that old gritty, you know, old school racer type mentality. He had that down and the way he would speak and the way he would talk to the drivers and, and the, the ice cream line and the way he would talk about, well, now, you know, you, you do your thing my way and then you do your thing your way and we'll see who's best and all that stuff. I, I'm clearly no actor, but I loved some of those lines. I quote them all the time, a set of, you know, special match tires that send you on the outside at Darlington. I thought Robert Duvall nailed that you know harry hyde harry hogg uh you know basing it off him and i just thought that was a spectacular performance and as you can see i got my little man wallace here he has an honorable mention uh the other best actors from a racing movie i don't know their names but their characters were walker and texas ranger and they made me laugh harder than anything else in talladega nights because they're <laughs> jacked up on mountain dew they don't have love for their grandfather and they said a lot of other funny stuff so come at you like a spider monkey. yeah they're coming at you like a spider monkey oh yeah Your those favorite. are those two kids are the pretty capital good. north carolina is washington dc <laughs> yes, all that little stuff. Their, I love their favorite that. hobbies are throwing war medals out on the lake. Yes. <laughs> Chip. <laughs> like Chip. <laughs> Too funny. Great question. Dalton, who is your pick? Oh, geez. All right. Well, so I, I got a serious answer, but unfortunately, it's not a NASCAR movie. Uh, I'm going to briefly mention him after, but I will go with the NASCAR movie. And believe it or not, it's not out of Days of Thunder. So. There's that. I'm going to be a little bit different. I'm actually going to go with Talladega Knights, and it's not Will Ferrell either. I'm actually kind of like Sasha Baron Cohen's uh, uh, his his take on uh, oh gosh, what was his name? Jean Girard, the the Formula One driver turned NASCAR, kind of the the Juan Pablo Montoya story. Uh, I love the little the accent he did. He's British, by the way, but I love the the French accent that he did the entire time, and. <laughs> He just he was he's such a funny actor. He's such a funny actor. And he did he played that role so well and being kind of like the 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 uh, the upstuck uh, uh, Formula One driver kind of, you know, uh, the guy that just wants to kind of, you know, win all the races. And he's just he's, he's so aggressive and everything against the the American Will Ferrell, Ricky Bobby, the American kind of redneck figure or whatever. I love that clash. I love that the way Sasha portrayed it. Uh, I loved him in that movie. I think he's like the best quote-unquote villain in an ascar movie and that's that's why i love him in that massey oh it's some good ones taken already and there's uh, a lot of good ones out there too um i'll throw a couple honorable mentions out there and they would be uh paul newman and larry the cable guy in cars mm. uh, as, as voices but i won't give them the spot because they just did voice acting not the actual in the movie uh but the the guy I'm gonna give it to, it's not a NASCAR movie, but it was it, it takes part of it takes place at Daytona. Uh it was filmed at Auto Club. I'm gonna go with Christian Bale in uh Ford versus Ferrari. Oh, great, it's, great movie. Yeah, that was fantastic perform. I love Christian Bale in pretty much everything. So uh yeah, he he was great in that uh what was it, Ken Miles? Yeah, he really brought that guy to life. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going with the layup. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. I'm going with Will Ferrell as Ricky Bobby because who doesn't love Ricky Bobby? And if you ain't first, you're last. And that's a good good mindset to live by. Uh, Alan, we want to thank you so much for, for joining us this week. And uh, I, I want to let you uh, plug your plug your stuff before uh, before we head out. Yeah, thanks for having me on. It's uh, very cool. Again, you know, hanging out with uh, Michael and, and the crew in Chicago was fun. But yeah, please follow me at Alan Cavana on Twitter. And I have a lot of uh, I have a lot of racing jobs. So I'm very fortunate. So I'll, I'll keep, keep up with everything I do on there. And uh, I'll see you at the racetrack. It's gonna be fun. And you connect with us at Front Stretch at Trey Lyle VT at M underscore Massey 22 at Pit Lane LT. 
That will do it for this week's episode of the Happy Hour Podcast. Next week, I'm on vacation. Brian Nolan's going to fill in for me. We're also getting a little blast from the past. Some front stretch alum. Davey Siegel will be our guest this week, or next week, I should say, as he'll hop into the Happy Hour show. Thank you so much for listening. Make sure you tune in to Bring the Heat with uh, myself. I'm filling in for Brian this week on that as well. So uh, tune in that. Me and Stephen Stump will talk all things New Hampshire, preview Pocono as well. Thank you to Pocono Raceway for sponsoring this episode of the Happy Hour Podcast. Thank you so much for listening.